So, welcome back guys to our channel ngayon. Tuturo na natin kung paano i-code and i-configure kung paano i-connect dito sa MariaDB and BB.net. It's almost the same po dun sa MyC Sharp. Now, go first to uh, mysql.com. Type lang po natin yan, mysql.com. And then, uh, look for download link. Under MySQL Community GPL Downloads, click lang po natin yan. And then, connector.net, meron po yan. So, download po natin. Ang version po niya, 8.0.21. This is the latest one. So, ang size niya, 3.9 uh, MB. So, download and install po yan. And then, dito sa atin, naka-install na po kasi tayo dyan ng mysql.net uh, connector. So, meron din po tayong odbc.net connector. For Excel, meron din tayong mga workbench. So, kompleto po tayo dyan. Ngayon, we are now ready to do the code. So first, go to project and then click reference, add reference or just click, right click add reference here. Go to browse and then uh, look, go for uh, on your computer under drive C that is 86 or 32 bit. Hanapin po natin yung MySQL po doon na folder and then ito .NET 8.0 Assemblies 4.5.2 That is the version Click po natin my SQL data dot DLL po yung isa select po natin dyan <coughs> Ayan So, click add Okay Okay, na? Hindi na add, ulitin ko lang po So, just click add Select add and then click OK so, check natin yung reference. So, meron ng mysql.data po dyan. Now, let's do the code now. First, double-click your form. And then, let's import on the upper. Imports mysql.data.mysql client. mysql client. And then, let's import also uh, system. Uh, Sorry, I.O. So, ang gamit po ng system.io natin, input-output, gagamitin natin later to store blob okay, sa database natin. Okay, let's add now our variables here. Okay, I'm going to declare it as private para si class formal lang makagamit. So, unang pangalan na gagamitin natin is private con as MySQL connection uh, private str as a string and then private cmd as new MySQL command and private vr as new I'm oh, sorry as MySQL data reader so, yung con na variable natin, siya yung aawak sa bagong connection natin, punta kay MariaDB or MySQL natin. Yung str, ito yung string kung saan natin ipapasa lahat ng config or other setting up mula sa connection natin. And then, yung cmd as MySQL command, ito yung gagamitin natin for our data manipulation. And dr is for our MySQL data reader para mag uh, po tayo. Marid po lahat ng mga nasa uh, database po natin. <clears throat> well, let's create first our uh, subroutine. Public sub, uh, shall we say, connection. So, we're going to set it up all. Lahat ng mga kailangan po natin dito. So, pangalan lagyan natin ng try and catch. So, message box that show x dot message dot string. So, just in case magkaroon ng error, lahat ng ma, uh, makakatch ng error catcher natin ng variable i x, papakita niya gamit ang message box po natin. And then, let's declare our local uh, variable here. dim server as string is equal to uh, localhost. Next, dim prt as string is equal to, I'm going to set it up the port number and then dim user as string is equal to the default one, you can create your own user dim pass 
as string this would be the password for our youth uh, root user but uh, we did not set any password for that we just leave it blank dim db as string this would be our data name of our database and its name is qwerty sample okay we need to enclose that in double quotation enter now let's pass all these important uh, variables or setting in our string str so str is equal to uh, server equals ampersand symbol meaning to concatenate in bb.net server okay uh, close with uh, semicolon port is equal to uh, PRT okay and then UID that's the user is equal to uh, user total quotation semicolon uh, PWD that's the password actually so PWD ampersand and then that's we name it pass okay terminate and then uh, the database database is equal to let's concatenate uh, DB and let's insert this one also uh, this important persist security okay uh, info we're going to set it up into false Okay, so that it would not persist. And then this is the new one for our .NET connector from uh, connector 7.0 above. We're going to use the SSL mode equal to none. And after setting it up, okay, those connections, we are now uh, open the connection using the con. Con is equal to new mysql connection we're going to pass the value of our string and then let's test first our connection okay if i'm going to put a remarks okay uh, test connection okay if con dot uh, shall we say state is equal to connection state dot closed then we're going to open it con dot open and then message box dot show lagay po natin dyan uh, connection uh, connected success fully and we're going to enter here the uh, title of our message box and let's insert here a button message box button dot button uh, sorry dot okay then message box icon dot information oops and else kapag naka open siya iklo close natin so con dot close okay and then we're going to copy uh, the message box and we're going to set it up connection failed okay and then we are now ready to test for our connection but we need to call this subroutine in our form loads so just call it here call connection yeah so next we're going also to double click the new button let's insert a try and catch here message box that show x dot message dot to string okay lagay po natin dyan txt id dot clear txt first name dot clear txt last name dot clear 
txtage.clear uh, cbo course dot facts is equal to clear and then we should make this one gawin natin na kung paano yung i-click clear ng VTN you click etong id for same last name agent course uh, and cbo course the same with our menu strip so just click file click new double click at and then just type here btn uh, new new click oops let's put here our variable me referring to itself and do nothing okay as event works just to follow uh, kung anong ginagawa ni btn new so ganyan lang po siya kadali guys so now let's start and execute you can just press f5 or click start button okay when you click start button here okay so all right so this is now the message back it says connected successfully so nakalink up na po siya dun sa database query sample po natin so ang gawin na lang natin is mag add or insert read update delete and search so ito naman yung gamit ng new natin so once we enter here so for example uh, we don't need to enter ID kasi auto uh, generated yan so for example Jerome uh, Fronda age uh, 33 uh, shall we say IT if we're gonna click new here so it would be clear up so let's type here Jerome uh, from the age 33 and of course IT so if you're gonna click file here or just press alt okay you can see yung kikita nyo may guhit yung F tsaka A done if I press alt F lalabas yung mga option ayan so pag clinic natin yung new or we just press control N ayan pre-press ko po yung control N so maklik clear up po siya so the same po yung gamit nung Tsaka, yun po. And then we were going to set this one up. Lalagay natin yan sa gilet. Kasi may konting mali tayo dyan. So select these three controls. Go to Anchor Properties. Then select Anchor Right. And then let's execute once again. Kasi nakamaximize siya. Ayan. So automatically nasa gilid na po siya, sumusunod po siya kapag na uh, nire-resize or uh, maximize natin or nire-restore natin yung default size nitong form po natin. So ganyan lang po kadali guys kung paano i-connect. So stay tuned for the insert update, delete search and display record gamit ang vb.net and maria db. So that's all. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you and have a good day.